Hello everyone, welcome in to turns 150 to victory of how to win a science game in Civilization 6. I recorded this over two days. All right, so mid mid video, there's gonna be a swap from the Icelandic flag to the Spanish flag. I believe I was wearing a gray shirt and now I'm wearing a blue shirt. Just so I don't know if that throws people off. It's the same game, just uh, I, I recorded it over two days. People hate when I do that, but I hope you like when I do that because I like when I do that. We win this game. We win a science game. Obviously the how to win series would be useless if we didn't actually win the game. Having four culture city states really held us back. We still managed to get plus 800 science at one point, which is really, really fun for us. I love showing off how to get those high science numbers. It's a long game. It's longer than our other ones. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I just wanna let you know that I was really tired when I recorded the first half, hence why I stopped and recorded the second half afterwards. And I, there's a point where you gotta launch the moon landing and then launch the Mars colony. And I know that, you know that, we all know that. But for some reason in this game, I just hit the Mars colony and didn't realize we'd missed the moon landing until I got there, which probably slowed this game down a bit. But also I'm just saving myself the embarrassment now so you don't think I'm a stupid dum-dum when you watch this video, which you know what, I am a stupid dum-dum, but still just know that it happens in this video. There will be like 30 turns where you'll be yelling at your screen. No, you fool, go to the moon landing. And I'm like, ha, 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 YouTube comments. I'm going to the Mars colony. So I've done it in the wrong order. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do check us out live on twitch.tv slash Van Bradley. We play Civ a few times a week. Also football manager 2021 is coming out. So we'll have some football manager content coming your way as well. What else do we got? We got comments. Tell me stuff in the comments. Be like, hey, you're a stupid dum-dum or whatever you want to say in the comments. I'll hit the like and subscribe button. I, I don't know what else to say. You can hit those buttons. Those buttons are cool. Anyways, let's get into <laughs> winning this science game. We'll see you on the other side. Part of nearing the end game means kind of finishing up the districts you have instead of prioritizing building new ones. Obviously here we can build another district and having another campus would be nice and it's definitely not too late to build another campus, but we have this theater square that we've picked out. It's a good theater square. It's next to the Oracle. Might as well finish up the amphitheater in here first before I move on to something else. A new government here means we have lost the old government, which was giving us plus production towards campuses and campus districts, which is a little bit of a setback for us, but it's a setback that we weren't really expecting to get earlier, and so it's totally fine. We have circumnavigated with our great admiral, which is awesome, and so we have now kind of gone through the whole globe here and get our five error score for being the first people to do that. Industrialization is a huge moment for us because we finally get our Ruhr Valley. So we need to build a factory ASAP in the city that has or that's going to have the Ruhr Valley. So we will finish up this chancery a little bit later. We need to get the factory down in nine turns and then we will chop out the Ruhr Valley as soon as we can put it down. The next big ticket item in the science tree is rocketry here. We need to get spaceports and uh, launch the Launch Earth Satellite Mission. That is the first step to winning a science game. So we need to get here as quickly as possible. In this case, since we're already ahead of everyone else, I'm not gonna care too much about the path we take. If we need to circle back and get something along the way, maybe we want oil, maybe we want the Eiffel Tower, whatever it might be, field cannons, I don't know, then we can circle back at the appropriate time. But for now, we're just gonna rush straight towards our victory because we're ahead and we're in a good position. We found a great merchant that is going to give us a free trade route in the city that you use it in. This is awesome for us. It's just a really good great merchant. There are, there are a lot of great merchants that are bad and some that are really good. And this is one of the ones that I always find to be really great. A free trade route is just free gold per turn, science per turn, whatever you want to do per turn until the end of the game, which is amazing. Also, for those of you who don't know, you can uh, filter trade routes by what you want here. So I'm going to filter by gold and Quora Quorum, uh, seven gold, one production. We can go seven gold, one science. And then you just want to double check the route. Like obviously with Washington being a free city right now, I don't want to send a trade route through there, but this seems fairly safe. And I'd rather have the one science than the one production in that city. We are starting to unlock some of the other uh, strategic resources though. So anywhere with niter or coal, we might want to look at putting a mine down, especially in a place like Ostia where there's not a lot of production. You get two lumber mills, three lumber mills and a, and a mine on this coal here. And that's an amazing start to a productive city. I have chased the barbs to the edge of the world. We have pushed them back. There's only but a spearman left and I shall claim my prize. 
a builder that probably belonged to me at some point. But we're, <laughs> it's either one we didn't have or one we did. But either way, that is our prize for these barb troubles. Now that we have Kilwa Ki Kisawani, Kiwasani, I can't even remember, and I've got like 1,500 hours into this game. Um, we want to get as many of these culture city-states under our control as possible. If you have more than one of them, you get an extra 15% bonus. Um, so we're going to keep going in with the... Oh, that's a lot of envoys. We're going to keep going in with the culture here. This great scientist is going to give us bonus science based on how many mountain tiles are around it. So I think we found a pretty good spot here for that. Banking done, gunpowder done, perfect. All right, yeah, get out of here, Barbs. Get out of here! Now that we've hit the Enlightenment, a big deal has, has happened here. Rationalism is a must-use card in a science victory, especially if you have cities that are 10 population or higher, but either way, it's going to give you extra science from buildings in campuses. Ideally, your campuses have a lot of buildings in them, libraries, um research labs, whatever, universities, those types of things, etc. So we're going to put that in instead of veterancy. We only have the one harbor to work on anyway. Yeah, we went from 141 to 170, and we don't even have a lot of cities at 10 population yet, two of them. So as these other cities uh, creep up to 10 population, all of their campuses are going to get even more powerful. Colonialism is boosted and gives us two envoys, so I'm pretty interested in this. Um, we do need to hit democracy fairly quickly, though, although we're, we're running a pretty quick pace. I think, you know, democracy takes us through most of what we need, minus opera and ballet. So maybe let's go here, opera and ballet, and then through to democracy, and I think that's probably a good route for us. When you're building an amphitheater, if you have a great rider available, you can just plop it right on the amphitheater. That way it's good to go the second it is built to put it in, and you can kind of just forget about it until the amphitheater is done. I think at this point, getting builders, not too many, but I think two or three builders, you want to build a farm triangle or, or some farms in all of these cities with campuses to get them up to 10 population as soon as possible um, to get the bonus science from rationalism. The factory is done. The Ruhr Valley production shall begin. I am very, very excited. One thing to keep in mind with a factory, let's actually go up here. I want to make sure you guys get this knowledge exactly correctly. Um, it's production bonus. So if you get one factory, it's production bonus is extended to all city centers within six tiles that do not ready have a bonus from this building type. So factory bonuses won't stack, but this plus three production here, right? That'll be sent to all cities within six tiles. So Rome's production went up plus three, Antium's production went up plus three. So if you don't want to build a lot of industrial zones, which is what I recommend in most games, building one like central factory to a bunch of cities, one, two, and Ostia's production went up a little bit as well, can help uh, get some production in cities that, that you might want to build industrial zones in, but would rather build something else in as well. Now that that's there, we can chop, chop, mine, mine. We're getting as many mines as possible for when the Ruhr Valley's done. I would move Magnus out of here, but uh, moving Pingala, losing the 10 science and culture per turn, losing all the great person points per turn probably isn't worth it for the chops. I don't feel like anyone's going to come up and sneak Ruhr Valley from us, so I feel pretty good about that. I usually recommend two art museums to every archaeological museum. That's just the ratio I recommend. Um, we played around with it on Twitch a lot. A lot of people who are more experienced than me at the time uh, recommended two art museums per archaeological museum, assuming you have more than three theater squares to work with. And that's a ratio I really, really, really like. I think in this case, though, we're already hitting our culture marks so well. Like, our culture's higher than it needs to be to get us to democracy on time. I'm going to build another campus here. It doesn't need to be the best campus, but literally just any campus. I want as much science as possible because you need your culture to be around 200 to 300 by the end of the game to keep pace, but you want your science to be, like, 600, 700, 800 plus if you can get it there. So we're going we're gonna to build bad campuses in every city that doesn't have a good campus just to have the extra science. This most in the mountains on a summer's day sorry i just wanted I to do that my hood i'm really tempted to buy a settler send it up here to this open area you get a plus three campus here or a plus two campus here like whatever whatever floats your boat if this tile gets taken but you just kind of it's just kind of like a flex you're going in the middle of three different empires so you're just kind of flexing like hey look at this power i can put this big city down here and there's nothing you can do to stop it I'm pretty into that. We want to make sure we got to check Mohenjo every time. We don't want to lose Mohenjo under any circumstances. So we got to keep that going. This may sound crazy, but we are getting to research labs soon. And they're very, very important to just double, triple, quadruple boost our science. We're already at 205, which is a bit... 
It's a bit behind where you want to be at turn 172, but we're doing okay. Um, I'm going to save all this gold to buy all the research labs we need as soon as we can get them. All right, back to back to back golden ages. <laughs> I feel good about that. To be honest, I haven't really been trying that hard to get them. Maybe we can flip an American city? Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Do we have enough faith for any of this? Monumentality. Monumentality builders feels really good. I also think we have enough for many of them. Trade roads not being plundered is kind of whatever, but I do like the gold here. So I guess we'll go reform the coinage, right? Like we're friends with almost everyone. Our trade roads aren't really going to get plundered. But three gold per district in the foreign city. That's right. It's not the best, but it's fine. Oh God, it's a big eruption. It is uh oh, uh oh, that's a, that's a takeout. That's a wipeout. Unfortunate for the, the they've been Pompeyed, and Aquila they've been Pompeyed. Oh, we want to get Reina down to contractor, for sure. So we're gonna try that. In cities where I'm not sure what to do, I'm just gonna start pumping campus research grants through. That's gonna help pump those science numbers up to huge, huge numbers eventually. If you just keep running campus research grants, those science numbers um, start getting real high and we're looking good for all of our other metrics right now. So I think that's probably a good place to go in some of the cities where we're not sure exactly what to do with them. If you're starting to have housing problems in some of your really high population cities later in the game, which will definitely happen as we try and get all these cities to 10 pop, where are we now? Approaching an Antium needs more farms. We hit um, civil engineering now so we can build farms on hills So that should be easy enough, but we hit Ostia. We got Roman Ravenna, which we already had but we got Aquila now Kumai's in two turns like Dunham's approaching as well So we're starting to get all of our cities with campuses to 10 population But sewers are nice and easy to build not a whole lot of production, but they give you extra housing in your cities you can imagine how much higher our science would be right now if we had, instead of four culture city-states, it's at 238 and we're not even trying. Like, imagine four science city-states to really... We probably have 350, 400 science per turn right now. Ooh, Agra's a big one. Let's send that to Agra. Let's check in. I want to do a pre-Ruhr Valley and a post-Ruhr Valley. We don't have quite all of our mines down yet, but we have most of them. We're pretty well prepared for this Ruhr Valley. Let's check it out. 52 production. In this city before the Ruhr Valley. Let's see where we're at next turn when the Ruhr Valley is complete. Ruhr Valley, Ruhr, Ruhr Valley. Milestone number one. Up next, democracy. Then royal society. Then spaceports. All right, where are we at? 52 to 72. So it's a plus 20, si or plus, plus 20 production so far. And we haven't even got all our mines down yet. So we usually want to get to around 100. And so that's perfect for now. We officially have control of all four culture city-states, which is wild. Man, if these were science city-states, we'd be killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. And the collecting of the great scientists continue. Continues. That's with an S. Continues. Lots of good boost there. We're looking specifically for the great scientist that helps us build space race projects and specifically for the great engineer that helps us build space race projects. Those are the things we're specifically looking for. Ooh, wonder construction. There's not another wonder we really need, but I'm sure like maybe in Rome, a city with a decent amount of production, we can get a wonder done pretty quick. We have two great engineers in a row. Anyone else like close behind us? Oh God, if we don't take this one, it'll be forever. Yeah, we'll take this one too. This one really sucks, but like, hey, it's fine. This one though, I wonder what we could even build. Oxford University, that'll do it. Oh, sorry, Farm Triangle, get out of here. We're building Oxford University. This is a science game, baby. Let's get Oxford. Uh, we'll build a Farm Triangle here. No, we want that to be a mine. One, two, three. No, just kidding, that can be a... We'll build the Farm Triangle right here. I'm sorry. I decided to build a spy here, because why not? We should probably get a spy out to do some siphon funds missions to upgrade. So I think getting a trader here next, we have seven trade route capacity and four routes, which isn't really quite good enough. So we should be keeping up with that as best as we can. And is there any, yeah, core quorum, anywhere you can siphon funds is a, is a good place to start for your spies. Grab another trader down here for the same reason. Look at that farm triangle, baby. Whoa, so much corn. Now they're going for the Oxford University. I'm going to grab skyscrapers here and I'm going to put it in instead of theater square adjacency bonus. I think we have enough culture anyway. And I think that'll help us build that wonder a little bit faster. Yeah, 253 instead of 271 isn't the biggest deal for us right now. And I took five turns off Oxford University, which is perfect. 
Our culture took a little bit of a dip here, and that's because we lost Antonana Revo. So if you ever see your stats, like, suspiciously go down, always check your city-states to make sure you're still the suzerain of the ones you're trying to be suzerain of. I will get Antonana Revo back shortly. We have a lot of coal that we're not really using for anything else, so I'm going to grab a coal power plant here, even though it's bad for the environment, I think we'll be fine. And then I'm going to grab a campus research grants for a little bit of a boost, and then we'll see about builders, traders, what's next here before our spaceport. Research labs have been researched, so let's head to first our Pingala City. Buy one of them research labs. They're 1760, so we can buy exactly two of them. So they were definitely uh, worth saving up for, I'd say. Yeah, what is it, 32, 34 science right off the bat? That's huge. Let's take back Antonana Revo, please. That's unnecessary. I appreciate that. Back to almost 300 culture. That feels good. Uh, Tamar's mad. Whoops, sorry, Tamar. And then we'll get our farm triangle back that we got rid of for Oxford University. So here is where our big play needs to happen. Every trade route that ends from now on, every single trade route that ends from now on needs to go from Ravenna. Right? It needs to go from Ravenna. We are going to hype up the production of Ravenna. So the reason why it needs to go from, from Ravenna, we have 72 production right now. We are approaching democracy. Now, what democracy does is it... Where's democracy? I'm looking in the wrong thing. Let's find democracy. All right, democracy, ally cities provide plus four food and plus four production for both cities. So what we're going to do is we're going to ally anyone we can. Okay, we're going to put all of our trade routes in Ravenna, and we're going to send them to allies. That'll get, It'll give them production and food too, but who cares? It's going to give us four food and four production per trade route in Ravenna. If we can do that with seven, eight, nine trade routes, that'll be like an extra 20 to 40 production coming out of Ravenna that's then boosted by the 20% production boost we get from Ruhr Valley. And that production is going to go into all of our space race projects. So any trade route that ends from now on is going to start from Ravenna instead of wherever they're starting from. So by the time we get democracy, we have a lot of extra food and production coming out of Ravenna. If that, if that all makes sense, that's part of the play. That's part of why we're going democracy. Trade route has ended. Move to Ravenna every time. I suppose we should also start making some allies. India's nice and close. Hello, India. Can we make a research alliance would be doubly great because then we'll get more science out of it too. Ah, more science, food, and production. Perfect. So we're gonna send our trade routes to India for now. From Ravenna. God, Oxford University is sexy. It's just so sexy. All right, we got aluminum now, too. Let's check out Oxford University. I want you guys to, to revel in the glory. I don't think the Great Library is that good. Plus 20% science in this city. Awesome. And awards two randomly chosen free techs. Awesome. And that's it. But awesome. It's all awesome. Also gives you two great work of writing slots, which we will use on this great writer right here. Perfect. Ingress. And then we have unlocked aluminum. Aluminum is very, very important. Aluminum is very important. We need aluminum to launch Lagrange projects, which we will talk about. Laventa... Oh no, All right, we're not, we don't have any aluminum. All right, we don't have any aluminum. That's a pro is there any settleable aluminum? I mean, you can send a settler right here. You send a settler way down here and you buy one, two, three, one, two, and get both. We need the aluminum. We don't need it now. It's not urgent, but we do need it. It's very important for the end game. You need to find a way to get aluminum, whatever you do. I think we're going to have to send a settler down here to, to snipe some of this aluminum. We could just suze Laventa as well, but that's a lot of work. Yeah, I think we're probably going for a settler in Rome real fast. How much is that? Seven turns? Let's go, baby. Let's get that uh, aluminum. We're going to send to India, we said. Yeah, we're getting more science now because of the research agreement or alliance. Let's go buy gold. The highest one for India. Perfect. I mean, we're hitting like 350 in science already. It's, it's quite low for turn 198, but we don't have any science city states, which I usually bank on a little bit for my timing. This is about the point where you want to have democracy, though, when you're starting to build your spaceports. So in six turns is around the time you want to have democracy. 
And we are getting pretty close. We're 4, 12... Our 20 turns difference, but that culture number is going to go up a little bit. I'd say we're probably 10 turns off where you want to be exactly. But this great uh, merchant just gave us two... Ah, oh, he's got seven in Leventa. That is so annoying that he's got seven in Leventa. That's a lot of work. I'm just going to go settle that silly city. I'm going to go settle that silly billy city. Trade route. Ravenna. Every time. All day, every day. Cheeky Broadcast Center, and then that'll line up perfectly with a spaceport. Now, we only need one spaceport for the vast majority of this. We're going to want at least two or three at the end. Um, four if you can get it, but at least two or three at the end. That's when we'll try and use Reyna to buy the second one instead of building it, because all our production is going to be focused in Ravenna. Now that we have gained sources here... Yo, a free settler. Oh, my man. Oh, I want that so bad. Can I go get that? I'm going to try and go get that. I don't know how possible that's going to be, but I'm going to give it a try. Also, um, now that we have... What was I saying? Oh, I was saying something important. I was saying something important, and now I can't remember. We'll get back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that we have gained sources here, we'll siphon funds. Hopefully it works out. That's kind of your best way to level up your spy early on. Now that we have uh, the spaceport here, we can launch the Earth satellite. Now, this is the first mission on your way to a science victory it says and marks the first step towards the science victory the next step is going to be launching the mars colony so we want to head straight there and this will take you through the bottom half of the uh, science tree um because we've missed that kind of rushing here which is fine this is going to take us a while to do we got to build the spaceport and launch this so by the time that happens we'll probably be close to um to the mars colony but again we have this um, victory screen overview here you click science and it shows you how many steps you completed and how far along you are and there's the first step launch a satellite definitely going to want space initiative 30 percent production increase to all space program projects in the city and you want that to be in your city that's going to have your first spaceport which in our case will be ravenna don't worry about the no food here that's totally fine we are going to have food as soon as democracy kicks in wonder card out what do we want to put in here grand opera probably grand opera at this point so much culture all right our vroom vroom settler is on the way i'm hoping we can sneak one up here too i wonder where that settler is i want to take that so badly all right time to build our first spaceport as you can see even in a city with very high production it takes 21 turns 21 turns that's why you gotta get democracy in here to boost those production numbers Feel pretty good about gravity. This can be a good builder city for us. Grab a couple of builders. That's fine. All right. <laughs> we can see it. Open borders. Open borders. Will you, will you pay for us to get... Oh, my God. He's going to give us three gold to get this settler. All right. We've done it. We got a settler. It doesn't look like we're hitting a golden age, though. We got seven turns. I really don't want to hit a dark age, but I think our population is enough to survive either way. Where can this guy even settle? <laughs> Down here, kind of. <laughs> we just took the settler. I didn't really think about where we could actually put it. We do have a Mohenjo Daro, though, so I guess somewhere in the middle of here, I guess, is fine. I don't know. Yeah, come down here. This guy actually just put down Calcutta. And he's building a 138 turn cavalry here. This is my land. I need this aluminum. Oh, you're going to get it, Gandhi. You're going to get it. I need this aluminum. Stop it. I'm going to replace the campus adjacency card with the campus and industrial zone adjacency card. And then we'll get gunboat diplomacy for even more influence points. Boo, a dark age. Oh, no. I think we'll be fine. Oh, maybe not an Antium. Everywhere else is good. Everywhere else is fine. Didn't lose a lot of size. Lost quite a bit of gold, though, because that was our boost from the last era. That's fine. Let's chuck a uh, Govna. Magnus? Amon? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, we can get uh, Magnus. Oh, yeah. Come over here, man. Antium? You're good. Everyone's fine. Everyone else is also, like, not in a golden age either. Ixant? No, no, no. Let's go reform the coinage. We're going to be completing a lot of trade routes here. I lied. I should have gotten every industrial era or later building because sewers count for that. And I'm going to build sewers almost everywhere. That was a poor choice. I immediately regret that decision. Just immediately regret it. Like, this is 10 seconds after I chose it. We have enough for more research labs, so we shall continue the purchasing. We're almost at 400 science. We're almost at 400 science. 
If we had four science city states, I think we could have won the game by now. If you've never tried to do this with four science city states, it's so much easier. All right, democracy is in the house. That's going to increase production and food in Ravenna, which is perfect. Pick our cards wisely. Man, we can go whistle bank and just add on top of it. What? Sure. Sure, is that fine? Oh, gold is really nice. We have enough gold. I think we have enough gold. New deal. Housing and amenities at cities with three districts is nice. None of these purple or black cards are interesting. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Let's try that. Uh, unit maintenance. I know gold for upgrades so we can upgrade our units to something at least functional. And then maybe public works, if I'm being honest. Production toward builders and extra build actions. Let's pump out some builders. Yeah, that went down two turns on the spaceport. What are we at now? 121 science or production. 121, and we still don't have all of our mines. I actually have to buy a builder to do that. I mean, the next thing is to go to space race, but I mean, I think I think democracy's kind of democracy's where you want to hit. Everything else after that is just nice. If you're if you're building spaceports at the same time you're getting democracy, you're doing great. And then otherwise, you're 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 pretty happy in the culture tree. Yeah, six action builders. What a world we live in. I think you just get a builder in any city that can build one quickly now that we have six action builders. Then our next step here is we need to get two things here. We need to get intelligence agency, and then we need to get royal society. Intelligence agency is whatever. It's just my favorite pick here. Grandmaster's Chapel is fine if you have a lot of faith. But royal society is, is critical for some of the next steps here. All right, we stole 200 gold. Hurrah! I'm going to move Reyna to Rome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bounce around and buy some commercial hubs in districts that don't have them. I think getting a little bit more gold per turn would be nice right now. We're, we're slacking a little bit, you know? I can't believe he's going to make me settle a city with negative loyalty just to get both of these aluminum tiles. All right, we're going to launch the Earth satellite. Step one, baby. Step one. This is tragic. This is a this is a miscarriage of justice. What's happening here? Uh, I need to move a governor over. How much? Uh, how much is a uh, commercial hub? We also might be having our fun siphon because that gold per turn is pretty low. Oh, Reina, I really wanted you to be there, but I think you gotta go. Wait, this is still minus four. It said it was minus two. What? All right, we have to we have to renegotiate a cultural alliance here. Five turns, we'll negotiate a, a cultural alliance so the loyalty doesn't affect us instead. That's lame. Is he the suzerain of Jerusalem? That might be what's doing it. Maybe he's the suzerain of Jerusalem. Gandhi is. Okay, that's what it is. Campus research grants. Let's let's zoom up those science numbers. Ooh. Probably go polygraph here. If this spy is in your home territory, enemy spies in your lands operate at one level below usual. The next thing I'm really interested here is plus 5% science per city state you're the suzerain of. Right now they give us plus 25% science and we're the only one in the game that's getting four influence points per turn instead of two from our um, card selection. So I think globalization will be the next big pick for us to get even more science. Donatello, the new spy shall go to Mabaza and siphon some funds, baby. I can use this opportunity to actually get probably Victor here just to have another just have another governor in some of these cities that are losing loyalty. Our funds are definitely being siphoned. Which city is it? Ostia, probably. Look at this. They're siphoning from Ostia for sure. I'm actually going to get this guy. Cancel your mission. You're going to come counter spy Ostia. I bet you will. I bet you will kill a spy in Ostia. All right, we have launched the Earth satellite. This is step one of a science victory. There we go. Now we can see all of Earth. It reveals the whole map to us. There's no more fog of war. Wow, America is really small. <laughs> I have four cities. <laughs> all right, now we're going to renegotiate our alliance with, uh, with Gandhi, but it's going to be a culture alliance this time because that'll stop him from loyalty flipping our cities. Perfect. So that'll stop down here. We'll see next turn that this won't be getting loyalty flipped anymore because his loyalty pressure won't affect us. Gonna launch research grants. Pump those numbers up. These are rookie numbers. Yeah, counter spy the uh, commercial hub. 
So now you can see we have full loyalty in Arpanum because their loyalty pressure is not affecting us anymore. And we're collecting all the aluminum we're gonna need. Big win. I normally don't like building districts this late. I think one more commercial hub is probably called for though. I think one more commercial hub will help us with a, another trade route would be nice. Um, a little more gold would be nice as well, I think. Counter spy the commercial. There's a, definitely a spy in here, yo. I feel it with every inch of my being. I think it's meant to be ounce of your being, but hey, I'm, I'm working with what I got here. With these high population numbers, we do need to start finding some ways to fix these amenity issues. How many are we missing? It's probably quite a lot at this point. There's not a lot of ways at the end of the game here to, to fix that. Six of eight. So it's still quite a few. Where are the great merchants at? There's some great merchants that give you four amenities. Those would be very helpful. Great, great scientists. We're definitely taking this one. University's giving plus four science is huge. We're still not even close to the great or the space race ones. We just really got to wait for those great merchants. I don't really want to build entertainment complexes. They're rather bad. I hate to do it, but we should probably build one, especially if it's only going to take two turns. We should probably build a couple in a couple key cities. This really sucks. I don't like doing this, but we'll, we will. We'll do it. We'll do it. The, the game commands it of us. 400 science has been hit. Man, we're behind. The lack of amenities right now is not helping. Um, that's a really, that's a pretty recent phenomenon though. We're working on that. Um, again, no science city states really cripples us a little bit, but we're almost at being able to launch the Mars colony. And once you get here, you really need to have um, the Royal Society finished. And we'll show you why in a, in a minute here. We can put down windmills and solar panels now that'll power up the empire. I think it's probably a good investment for us to do. It's good to get some cities powered and we don't have um, industrial zones in cities to be able to use power plants. So I think going around with builders, we're going to build a lot of builders here anyway, um, because Royal Society allows us to sacrifice them to the overlords of the space race gods, which we will do. So we'll get a lot of builders going. Uh, no, you are coming to Ravenna. We'll get a lot of builders going. And we'll use some of them to build power in cities, and we'll use some of them to sacrifice for the Mars colony. 5% culture, 5% science per city state we're suzerain of, probably better than public works right now. Four, we're almost at 500 science now. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Let's head to, yeah, we gotta go. Am I out of cities? No, we're good. Am I out of Gandhi cities to go to? Three turns, grab a builder to sacrifice. Might as well go full Pingala here just for the uh, one era score you get for filling out one of the governors. We have to wait till the Royal Society is done before we build the Mars project anyway. Nah, maybe we don't have to. I lied. We have two builders here to sacrifice kind of already ready to go. So let's go for Ravenna here. Ooh, never mind. Sorry, wrong screen. Let's go offshore wind farms. Probably not necessary. Head for solar panels as well, and launching the moon landing will be nice too. Oh, do we need to? Oh shit, we need to go to the moon landing first. I did this in the wrong order. <laughs> uh, I didn't even see the moon landing. We got to launch the moon landing before the Mars colony. That's totally my bad. We're gonna launch the moon landing first. It's probably even right there. I totally. Whoop. Yeah, launch the moon landing is next. Classic. All right. Well, we're gonna do that in a minute here. That's really funny. I don't think I've ever done that once in my life. <laughs> That's hilarious. Whoops. All right, Royal Society is finished now, so we're good to go on the builder sacrificing once we actually get the moon landing in three turns. Uh-oh, big hurricane. Yo, can we... Do we need hurricanes? Is that strictly necessary? Do we need them? I cannot believe that I clicked on... <laughs> the uh, Mars colony before the moon landing. I'm, I've never done that once in my life. It was a first time for everything. All right, we got enough builders lined up for sacrifice now. We need to work on amenities. I don't think we're ever really solving the amenity problem. I'm not going to lie. I just don't think it's happening. Okay, yeah, let's suzer in as many places as possible for sure. Yeah, 501 science now. Those dude just lost five population. That's, um... That's intense. <laughs> Get your hurricane out of my life. Nobody wanted this. Nobody asked for this hurricane. Why do you have to be double destructive? Why why double destructive for us? So what? why we're doing this actually, I should probably explain. Powering up your cities boosts your research labs, right? And other buildings too, but mainly your research labs. If you go to your research labs, research lab, and you go down here, three science plus five science when powered. 
Right, so you can power up all of these places. Um, you'll get more science in your research labs, which is obviously ideal in a science victory. Wait, well, my spy fled because someone took... There's not a new empire there. What? Oh, yeah, you guys should definitely help us recover. You guys should definitely help us recover. It. Under all circumstances, we need help. The good news about going to Mars Colony first is we, <laughs> we already have it done. So now we need to find in here, somewhere in here, are going to be the Lagrange projects, and we need to find those. So I'm just going to go unrevealed up here. Now, maybe let's go here. We need to find the Lagrange projects really badly. All right, so now what you can do, because you have Royal Society, we are working on launching the moon landing. You can sacrifice if you go over your spaceport with the builders. Remember, we built Royal Society. It's part of the government plaza in Rome. You can sacrifice your builders to the spaceport, add production to a project only once per turn. So you add that took a turn off the moon landing, then you move your other builder up, and next turn we sacrifice another builder. So you need a queue of builders. You can get out of here, you're in the way, man. You need a queue of builders ready to go to be sacrificed for this to be the most effective, but you can launch these a lot quicker. Also, ideally, you have the great engineer and the great scientist that have uh, those abilities to help make this quicker as well, but because no one else is generating any kind of great people points, we're, we're just stuck waiting, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna vote not to help Gandhi, but I'm I'm definitely voting to help us. People are gonna give us so much gold for this. Failed! Everyone voted one against me. Everyone voted one against me? How dare they? How dare they? Never mind, we're not getting a lot of money. But we're still on track to win the game, so sucks to be them. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give us plus five percent culture as well. Ooh. We have enough culture. I don't actually need that card. Normally you would put that in, but I like Whistlebank in here just to just to help us get through this game as quickly as possible. We are about to launch the moon landing. Grants a one-time culture bonus equal to 10 times your science per turn. That's like 5,000... What is that? Five... Yeah, 5,000 culture. A lot of culture. We just got 5,000 culture. That's nuts. We can do anything in one turn. Might as well go here. We're not going to move into another government. We're going to stick with democracy, so we might as well move up here. 500 gold and a governor title? I mean, I'll take it, but it's not what you want. Now we need a steady stream of builders to sacrifice to the Mars. The uh, infamous Mars colony launch. We need a steady stream of builders for that. But if you go and check our victory screen right now, you can see we've completed two steps. We gotta launch the Mars Colony, then the Exoplanet Expedition, then the Lagrange Projects. The Exoplanet Expedition and the Lagrange Projects are hidden somewhere in here, which we have to find. They're hidden, they're somewhere around. We'll find them. It's also worth noting at this point that when you sacrifice builders, um, they just give you the production that the builder has left. So if you um, have a one charge builder and you sacrifice them, they, they give you less production towards the space race project you're working on. Um, so you want to be sacrificing full charge builders. So you build them and then send them to the spaceport. Don't build anything along the way or else it won't be quite as effective. Time to renew our uh, friendship and alliance with Gandhi. Very important to keep doing that anytime it is up. We're up to 617 science. Woohoo! Woo! We just keep taking city-states, baby. We keep suzerainting more city-states. Man, I love sac like sacrificing builders is such a cool little mechanic to speed this along. I love every time I do it, I love it. All right, we're out of the dark age. Would have been nice to get a golden age, but we're out of the dark age, so that's pretty big. That's a big deal. Everyone else kind of normal or Gandhi's in a dark age now. The fool. Heartbeat of steam. We'll go heartbeat of steam, I guess. Suppose it doesn't really matter. More governor titles. I don't. It just at this point doesn't really matter that much either. Let's fill out, man. I'm gonna see what happens if we get more, like a whole bunch of these filled out. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting all of them filled out. Three more envoys would be great. And the Mars colony is ours! Look at that. It's the third step. Now we gotta find the exoplanet expedition. Oh, is it right here? Is it just straight up right here? Watch it be right here. All right, here we go. Plus 20% production towards space race projects. That is the one we are waiting for. Thank you. Bit late, but we'll take it. 
All right, at this point, we definitely want to launch the World Fair because generating great person points per turn is how you win it, and we are generating so much more than everyone else in this game. All right, more suzerains equals more science. 702. Woo! All right, for those of you really confused right now, I played part three over two days, which is why the flag behind me has changed. A new football manager is coming out, and we're heading to Spain instead of Iceland. So now there's a Spanish flag and not an Icelandic flag. And I got a new shirt. It's not a new shirt, but it's a different shirt than yesterday. Anyways, on with the science victory. Right now in the end game here, I'm having a really easy time keeping all my friendship and alliances sorted out. Just know that if you get to the end of the game and it looks like you're winning as you approach a victory, some of the AI might be mad at you just because you're approaching a victory. So do not take it personally if you're a few steps into the science victory and all of a sudden everyone hates you that's not happening this game but it does happen in a lot of games so i just wanted to point that out that if you're doing this exact kind of setup here with democracy and royal society and everything and the ai starts to hate you as you approach the victory that is why it has nothing to do with the the setup necessarily it's a brief moment of time and we have hit 800 signs per turn if we could just find the exoplanet expedition probably right there that would be fantastic we have found the exoplanet expedition. It was hidden exactly where we thought it would be. So what are we? Three turns away. I was trying to save up to buy spaceports, but I never quite hit enough. You need like 7,000. So we're going to have two spaceports coming in hot here. We only need the one to launch the exoplanet expedition, but the other two here are going to be very, very useful afterwards. We are good to go and launch the exoplanet expeditions, which will take eight turns, but we're going to sacrifice our builders to make it take less. Once you have the exoplanet expedition, even before it's launched, you have to find where off-world mission is. This is where we're going to start using our aluminum to launch the Lagrange projects. We'll talk about why just after the exoplanet expedition is finished, but you do need to find off-world mission and it can kind of be jumbled up in here. Sometimes it's at the very end, sometimes it's up here. So you're just gonna have to go through and kind of find it, but we're gonna head straight there. The exoplanet expedition has been launched. All right, so what the exoplanet expedition does once you have launched it is it starts counting down light years and you need 50 light years to win right so it is counting down it says right here if you come and check exoplanet expedition is traveling one light year per turn right so we need to get to 50 so in 50 turns we will have 50 light years if that makes sense you can increase this by running these projects that we're heading towards an off-world mission and each time you complete one of these it increases the amount of light years per turn by one Right, and so having multiple spaceports to finish multiple um, Lagrange laser station projects, you can also use ter terrestrial laser station projects. They're much harder and require a lot of power, which sometimes you don't have. And so I like to do this route, which requires aluminum, because you can get a, a few of these going at one time, and then instead of getting one, maybe two light years per turn, you're getting three, four, five light years per turn, and you can win the game really, really quickly. One of the things you definitely want to do that we didn't focus on until right now, even though it's quite late, but you can focus on earlier if you like, is to counter spy your spaceport. So sending a spy into your spaceport is a good is a good way to make sure that your enemies cannot sabotage the spaceports you plan to use to launch all these projects. We were a little bit ahead, so it didn't really matter that much. But if you're in a closer game, I think uh, spying on your spaceports earlier is probably a smart idea. Now, each Lagrange project takes 30 aluminum and right now we're capped at 50 so i'm going to pivot a little bit i already have spaceports and i was able to build them in my other cities so i'm actually going to bounce reina around and i'm going to go ahead and buy some encampments in some of these cities and once you buy the encampments you can purchase where are we at here for rocks here strategic resource stockpiles increased by 10 so that'll make us uh capable of having 60 which is awesome and then if we go back Grab an armory, another 10 there, which is fantastic. Grab a military academy, another 10 there. Fantastic again. Ooh, that's, uh, that's some error score, which is nice. And then we're just going to move Reyna to the next city. Luck Dunham seems good, but just anywhere Arpinum. No, 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 no. Let's go to Luck Dunham. Just anywhere 
that you think you can buy an encampment to increase that stockpile. So you can get at least 60 so you can run two at a time. You can also see in most of my cities now I'm either grabbing builders because we're going to have three spaceports that we're going to need to sacrifice builders into. Or I'm building campus research grants to just get there as fast as possible. All right, the off-world missions are a go, and we are going to launch a whole bunch of Lagrange laser stations. Every time we complete one of these, we will be able to increase our light years per turn by one. So as you can see, if we go to our science victory, we already have 11 out of 50, because it's been 11 turns since we started getting one light year per turn. So we only have four, 39, 30, 39 left to go. I almost said 49. I'm an idiot. 39 light years left to go. And if we go to Ravenna here, a tornado took out some stuff. It was very annoying. Um, all right, so let's go to Ravenna here. No, not. Okay, this is so frustrating. All right, now that we're here, let's build a Lagrange laser station. That'll take four turns. And let's sacrifice a builder to the cause. That's perfect. We're going to do the same in Rome, where there's a spaceport launch Lagrange laser station. Less production. It'll take 11 turns. That's fine. We have builders to sacrifice to the cause and then next turn we're gonna have 30 aluminum again and we're gonna come to a readium and do the same thing where we have builders lined up ready to go i gotta throw all my diplo favor into disrupt rocketry being unavailable that would be very helpful for our win here yay disrupt rocketry is unavailable perfect all right one lagrange laser station down many more to go so as you can see now, if you come down here, it'll say we are counting two light years per turn because we have completed an additional Lagrange project. All right, that's three light years per turn. Three light years per turn. Let's go, baby. That is four light years per turn. What a view. What an absolute view. Five light years per turn. We're gonna win in two turns here, but for reference, this is the great scientist you're normally looking for. Stephanie Kwolek, plus 100% production towards space race projects is obviously really, really helpful in launching all of your space race projects and the Lagrange projects to follow. Wait, is that six light years per turn? Yo, I built a terrestrial one. I was out of aluminum and I thought, hey, why not? We're gonna win in a few turns. Why not do it? Why not do it? All right, we are at 48 out of 50 light years. Next turn is the winning turn. And here we go. Here it is. This is it. Come on. Simulate. Yeah. Much as our Woo! We've done it. We have done it in the modern era. We have won a science game. Incredible stuff. This game took so much longer than it needed to. But no science city states makes that difficult but we've done it we have done it under your leadership we plot a new course and make another world our own. look at how cool this looks oh yeah all right a bit complicated at the end few times where i clicked the wrong things but overall that is how you win a science victory all right the end game a lot about getting all your districts done Finishing them up and instead of building more districts, you probably won't need or use lots of builders to sacrifice lots of um, Campus research grants to get that science per turn up Man, I hope you enjoyed this one I liked having a longer game even on Prince difficulty Four culture city-states and no science city-states really really held us back a little bit um, for how quickly we could win this game but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Come check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Van Bradley. We stream Civ a few times a week over there. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.